Max coming to you from MT Paintball Reviews. This week I will be reviewing the Invert Halo 2 Hopper by Empire. Last week I reviewed the Planet Eclipse Etha Marker. So, to start off, as you can see, very nice hopper. Round count is about 200, give or take. Let's start at the top. On the top, as you can see, I have a classic Exalt speed feed. Just pops in and off. Very easy. As you can see, very easy to load. And the balls will not fall out if it is tipped upside down. And just switch on your cap if it starts raining. No big deal. And you can also adjust the tightness with this screw at the back. Let's see right there. Okay, then we go down to the control panel here just one simple button just another thing Empire does uh, just tap it to turn it on green light means it's on there's also ways to adjust the speed setting and the microphone setting but that's complicated and I will not get into that now and then you would just hold it again and it'll easily just shut off just very simplicity something Empire does uh, very key thing to this hopper and then we'll go from the, the the loader, the bottom of the loader. As you can see, just normal hole, just clips on to your feed neck very easily. It just needs, just pops on, pops off. Very simple design. Also, I'm gonna take the speed feed off here. You can see inside. Not very good lighting, as you can see, but just a nice chamber in there. Mine's pretty clean. Just want to keep that clean, don't want to get dirt in there. And I think you can get up to around 20 BPS with this hopper, which is good enough for most markers, because most markers don't usually go over that. And then there's very simple, only about 10 screws you have to take off. It takes you about half an hour to an hour. Not a big deal if you're on the playing field, playing all day. Just pop up your screwdriver, take it apart, and you can get inside, fix the problem, put all the screws off. And by the time you're done, you won't even get hit. Trust me, as long as you're camping, you know, that's totally normal. And then we'll go down to the battery here, the battery door. So you can see mine's a little bit chipped. No big deal, you know. Totally normal, totally normal when you play aggressive like me. As you can hear, that's the battery rattling around. You know, that's just normal games, normal sounds of the game, you know. You're running around, you hear that, no big deal, the battery's still secure. And it also adds a nice, you know, feel, kind of a ringtone to the hopper. And as you can see, my, like I was saying, my battery door is actually cracked. And you might, you know, it, it's a little bit hard to see, but there is actually duct tape around this hopper. You know, I'll put it close so you can see better. There you go. And what happened is, it was screwing it in too tight, you know, silly me. And the battery door happened to crack you know I guess I was just too aggressive with that screw happened to break and no big deal called up Empire sent me a roll of duct tape they said just tape it up and it was looked better than new actually you can get different types of duct tape I chose gray I think it just matches nicely with my gun and my speed feed and it just I think it just looks like top-notch quality I think you could almost make more than you bought it for if you were to sell this on Kijiji you can buy different types of duct tape. Empire will send you black, camo, just kind of amazing customer support Empire does. Just another thing that makes this hopper such a good buy. And finally, we can see the battery door is secure. I'm waiting on a new battery door, but hopefully it will come in soon. Sadly, I will have to take the tape off. Something I will regret, but, you know... I want to assemble it properly even though the tape does add a nice shine to it.